The wind is whipping up here at the Venice Film Festival, suggesting that the hot weather may be about to turn, and yet Venice still offers a port in the storm, a safe haven for weary delegates and talented filmmakers who are down on their luck. Terry Gilliam is the ill-starred creator of the likes of Brazil and 12 Monkeys. He's back in town with a new film, and it seems he's just as batty as ever. The Zero Theorem is a big, sagging rattle bag of ideas. A sci-fi folly that stars Oscar-winning Christoph Waltz as a genius data programmer on a mission to construct order from chaos. Some hope this skittish, cluttered film bounces from the trite to the tangled and finds room along the way for the likes of Tilda Swinton, David Thewlis and Matt Damon, whose camouflage suits make him blend into the scenery so that you hardly know he's there. Occupy Mall Street now. Orton sales have started. Bargains go on. Everyone's getting rich, except you. Learn the secrets of their success tonight at 8 on Do and DC. Bored with Buddhism, sick of Scientology, and the Church of Fatima, the future has come and gone. Where are you? Actually, the Zero Theorem has a certain ramshackle charm. I'm not sure it's nourishing but it certainly has spice. The Venice Film Festival now continues apace, but this is the last of our video instalments. My producer, Josh Strauss, is making tracks, but I shall be sticking around and writing up the reviews the old-fashioned way. Thanks for watching. See you soon. That kind of being cut off and being restricted and claustrophobic and not having sound. I Porn is the backdrop to it. It's about a relationship. Your girl is going to be a star. The movie's meant to be an allegory for class warfare and rich and poor.